Right, with us we have the Namibian world champion Julius Sindongo. Julius, you're preparing for the biggest fight of your life against Terence Crawford on the 19th of August. How is the preparation going? The preparation so far is very 100%, I can say it. So, because we have been full time in the gym, we train accordingly to our money, to our se section two times a day. So, everything went well, no injury, no other focus on uh, we are, whatever I can say, but we are humble and very focused on this fight. Because it's a, any historic fight event that we are facing, it's, it's a history in making. So, so it's, uh, the world must expect uh, something big. They must be just a constant and see. We must not judge because we as we work with the person in the ring. We don't work with some with, with what they've done in the past or something. This is a new page, it's something that we're going to open with me and him. So it's not a matter of being experienced or about the record that he's having. So everything we are going for is a new page that we are going for. So we are going to tell them. Right, and tell us about your sparring. You've got the Hitman Moses and Mike Shonena as your sparring partners. How how they helped you? Yeah, they, they are really helping me out because they are working on two sides, the Orthodox and the and also Sapo. So they are working out well and they are, they are much on the pressure that, so that they can handle the conditioning of the ring. So, so far everything is going well. So, and uh, we also having the same uh, same uh, same team with them that is leaving tomorrow for America. So the, the sparring is going to continue for a week on the other side. So this is the best team that they have been there since day one. So we, we do have a doubt on it. And uh, we do have at least something that we cannot predict of need. But it's only that this is a game we are facing, it's a win and lose game, you know. But as we are a strong team, we don't mind of anyone, either in, in his backyard or, or outside. All we do is just to do, to get in the ring and we stick on our game plan. That's the only best way to have them. And you've seen, um, you've seen Crawford live, you were at his last fight, you've also seen him on videos. What do you think of his boxing style? So he's a, he's a, he's a strong guy, he's a, he's a good boxer, he's a very experienced and uh, what I much admire him is he's too respective and he's so humble, so it's going to be a 50-50 way of, of, like I can say, although it's, it's, I believe this will be a fight that the world is going to, to see, because me, I'm someone who is very, always focused in the ring, and to someone who doesn't undermine, and is, I'm someone who doesn't fear, so it's going to be a fight, if it's really going to stand for, for the fight, that's how I can comment on it. Right, and as you said, you're leaving tomorrow. What message have you got for all your Namibian fans back home? Yeah, I will just tell the Namibian fans that they must just be humble and they must not judge Namibia as, as I'm leaving. So we are going for war. And when I'm thinking of war, I'm thinking about the ring, ring conditioning. So this is the best team and it has been there and it's going to grow. And, uh, they must just expect what's coming on the 19th, but they mustn't be negative. This is, well, I know we are stepping in, in, in Crawford's home ground, but they must just be constant and be humble. They must just hold their fingers and be praying also, because you know when you're getting so 20, 20 hour of light, it's not easy. So, but they must trust me. I'm a man. I'm a really strong person and I'm confident in myself. Right, and Julius, you also mentioned in an earlier press conference that you will be fighting in memory of your father who died um, during the War for Independence. Yeah. What does that mean? Tell us a bit about that. And what so does it mean actually, to you? Yeah, actually, it's, I decided because it's, it's an historic fight, I decided to dedicate it for my father because he died for the Russian struggle for, yeah, in 1986. So I was very young, I was two years of age. And uh, I was just like analyzing my way of, of where I am today. I, could, I started realizing what if he was there, uh, how will he be enjoying this? And later I realized he was also a, he was a, a true hero. He had been fighting inside Namibia and uh, they, he was under dogs, he was, they had been staging for him until he was transferred for Katutura from Holy House for operation. And that's how he died on the operation while he was saving the manga, the thong stones. That's, that's how it's, that's what happened to him. So I decided to, just to show the view to, 
to to the, to the president that this I will dedicate for him and uh, and just for them to know because I know most of them they know him it's only that they could not tell that it was um is from him but I know from yesterday they could figure out and hear when they start asking because he was named after a uh, Swapo councillor in Soweto which is Colonia constituency so it was named after him so. I believe from yesterday they head out because I know sometimes our senior they don't hear information because the people that are close to them they are not those that are getting close to give information. That's why they have decided to say it out so that they can hear and feel because that many have left something that's putting the country still proceeding with the history of the country. So it will mean a lot to you. It will give you a lot of inspiration. Very much, very much. Yeah. Because even when they used to talk, I used to also to hear, oh, this boy is just like he's having the strategy of the father. I wish you could know who was the father. That's all they used to tell me.